This video is all about the harsh realities of guest posting. Now I know guest posting is probably the most covered and well documented topic in the blogging niche, but it's one of the most common emails that I get. Almost every day I get a new email about some various aspects of guest posting, but there's something that a lot of bloggers don't really talk about when it comes to guest posting, so that's what I'm going to cover today. Let's go. So literally every day I get probably five or ten emails from people asking to guest post on Blog Tyrant. Now that's annoying for a few reasons. Firstly, it says very clearly on my contact page that I don't take any guest posts. Doesn't matter even if you're Seth Godin himself. We just don't do guest posts on Blog Tyrant. The readers didn't want it and I thought I'd really try to respect that. But the other kind of email I get is from people asking me how do they get guest posts on you know, other big sites, whether it's a big site in their niche, say if they're in the fitness niche, or if they're in the blogging niche as well, how do they get onto the sites like Copyblogger and Problogger or the big ones in their niche? And what a lot of bloggers don't really talk about and something that I think needs to be said even though this guest posting kind of topic has been done to death is that it really is about your reputation. And it's kind of a little bit of a harsh reality because if you're just starting out in the blogging world, you don't have much of a reputation. Your blog might be new and you've heard about guest posting as a way to grow that new blog and you think, great, I'll go out and do guest posts, but you know, the, the strange thing there is that you can't get guest posts because your blog is new. It's kind of a double-edged kind of sword. So what I want to do a little bit, talk a little bit about today is how do you get guest posts when you have no reputation? Well, it comes down to trust. If somebody has a big blog, they've spent a lot of time growing it, building it up, put a lot of money and effort into it, they don't just want to let anybody guest post on it. They don't know who you are, they don't know what you've done in the past, whether you have you know, a, a good character or whether you're an honest person or whether you're going to put you know, links back to a blog and then your blog is one day uh, full of um, you know, things that you wouldn't want your readers to see. So it's about building up that trust and really the only way to do that is to put quality content on your blog from the beginning. Now, I don't recommend, I don't recommend putting too much content on your blog in the beginning, maybe three or four posts really long detailed posts and in those posts you want to mention the people that you'd like to guest blog on on their sites so if you one of the things I did at the beginning was constantly reference copy blogger and pro blogger and these guys who are really inspiring me like Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income, Glenn from Viper Chill and I tried to build that relationship with them by mentioning them to my readers on my blog in a really quality post that obviously sends traffic to their site or theoretically does anyway if you're new you might not send that much but the idea is to build up trust and build up a rapport with them. You can then let them know you've written about those posts on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. But you, know, you don't want to pester them too much, but at the same time you want to let them know that you've mentioned them in this really high quality article uh, and then sort of just leave it. Leave it at that. Let it simmer. Let that plant a seed and gradually be useful to those bloggers uh, in your niche or those website owners in your niche and try to build up that rapport over time so that when it comes to pitching the guest post, they know, one, you produce quality content, two, you're kind of friendly with them over you know, the last few weeks or months that since you wrote that great post on your site, and three, they kind of know what you're about now. So they know what your site's about, they might have visited it because you mentioned that you're not just a complete random stranger. Make sure it's all custom. You don't want to just write emails to them that looks like it's just a copy and paste, paste template. I literally just delete them when I get them in my inbox. I don't even reply to them because Nobody's taking the time to sort of really narrow it down to what my site's about. I even get pictures for articles about kittens on Blog Tyrant. It's really strange. Don't be that guy. Hope that helps. Bye.